Alright, these are the collectibles for the countryside section of Tuscany. The first two are in the southeast portion of the map near this big church. There's a glyph and a feather in this church. What do you gotta do other than climb it to get to them? So there's a feather. What does that say? 23 out of 100? We're over a fifth of the way there. And once you go around this side, you'll find this glyph piece. Shiny, shiny. Alright, this was a fairly long puzzle, so I kind of edited it down. What you have to do is they're going to give you two sets of pictures. For the first set of pictures, you have to find five pictures with people holding swords. And then you got to find pictures of them holding walking staffs. So here are the five pictures for the swords. And coming up, we'll get the five pictures with the walking staff. So just hunt down those couple of pictures and you'll be all set for this challenge. And the second one is in the northern part of the map. And as I hit record, all my friends want to come online, so cool. There's only one in this section. And then there's two in the next section. There's only five collectibles in this part of the map, even though the map's huge. So right near this bell, you'll find your next feather, that's number 24. And then the last two are in this ruins area. Right near the actual city of Tuscany. First, we're gonna run back here into this little ruins tunnel thing, and we'll find our glyph. And all right, this is a fairly tricky puzzle to do. What you actually have to do is rotate the pieces to make a whole picture again. But in this one, they're actually connected. So, like, say you rotate piece four, it'll rotate piece two, and stuff like that. So you gotta actually figure out which one's gotta move where while you move other ones. And they make you do, I think, three pictures. So just follow what I do. And it'll lead you to complete this puzzle.
Behold, the mark of Cain. And then we're gonna run straight out of there over to here to get our feather which is on top of that beam and to get it you gotta climb on the smaller beam and jump onto the bigger beam to get it which took me a minute to figure out uh. 